Hi Taurus, it is time for our daily get together and today is Saturday, July 22nd, 2023. Let's look at your tarot cards. Spirits, what does Taurus need to know? What's happening with Taurus? One more shuffle, Taurus. see what's happening the first card you've got is the sun the happiest card in the tarot deck that is the leo energy and then you have the high priestess pisces energy wow you are lit up here you got the chariot cancer energy you guys getting every good card in the tarot decks yesterday and today there's something here where the sun is shining on you um the light is shining on you you're very intuitive very psychic okay here we go the three of swords and then you have the five of cups The Three of Cups. The Queen of Cups. And the Knight of Swords. Something's going on here, Taurus. In your energy. You have the Nine of Swords. It looks like well let me let me keep going the fool this is aries energy and then you have the ace of swords something in the past made you really happy there is a lot of happiness here taurus why is the sun here but then it's looking like something is taking place right now or the timeline could be different for all of you Okay, so you have the Hanged Man, Pisces Energy, and the Knight of Pentacles. There's some type of opportunity here with this Knight of Pentacles that I feel like moved towards you. And um, some t it, it was some type of an offer. And it's something with a lot of potential. Something that you were looking at for the long run. Why is the hangman here? You have the five of swords. Um, something that would change things for you. I see like a butterfly right here on the five of swords. Um, something where you stand out in a crowd. And you're speaking your mind. Speaking your truth. Why is the high priestess here? You have the Eight of Cups. I feel like you're silently decided to walk away from someone, or this could be two people. Here you have the King of Cups and you have the Queen of Wands here. So I feel like you're, you're silently moving away from a couple people, a couple energies in your life, and standing in your truth. It, um... It's like you're keeping quiet about it. So I don't even know if these people know that you're removing your, your energy from them. All right. And then you have the chariot here. Why is the chariot here? You have the four of swords. The ten of swords. And you have the Hermit Virgo energy. I 
I feel like for some of you, it's like you're going to take a trip or you have taken some type of a trip in, in a vehicle with the chariot showing up here. And some someone else here is feeling hurt. Someone's really questioning themselves as to why you did this. They kind of feel betrayed here or hurt with the Ten of Swords. And then you have the Four of Swords here. So I don't feel like this person is saying anything about you moving moving on or distancing yourself from them. Like I said, there's two people here, so there could be a couple different people that you're just wanting um, to distance yourself from. And then you have the Three of Swords here, so let's see what this is about. Why is the Three of Swords here? You have Strength and you have the Ten of Wands. Leo energy with the Ten of Wands and you have the King of Swords here. Someone here is really, really up in their mind, okay, with the King of Swords energy. They're, um, they're trying to think things out logically. And um, I feel like you could feel hurt, but this person is holding back something from you with strength they're holding back something from you that they carry around with the ten of wands and i'm i'm feeling like they're holding it back because i'm getting it's something embarrassing that they don't want to show you there's something in their energy some type of burden or weight that they carry around that um they want to let go of this but there's like something that needs to be completed and it's literally embarrassing for this person to share this with you. And so you could be feeling a bit hurt because I'm feeling like um, this person, the reason why you're backing away from them up here is because they're kind of saying things or doing things to show you that they're creating distance between the two of you. And so this could leave you in this Five of Cups energy where you feel like, um, like, what are they doing, you know? There's some sadness here in your energy. Why is the Five of Cups here? And I don't think it has anything to do with you. It's something that is an embarrassment to this person. I would expect to receive a message with the Page of Wands showing up. The Eight of Swords. There could be something about this person exper experiencing some type of karma. They may have done something. Someone could literally be in jail here. There could be a legal matter that they're hiding from you. But I'm seeing here that you, that you will receive a message from someone and they're going to show up um, with this message kind of in this page of wands energy is what they're showing me. They're showing me like this childish flirty energy here. All right, and then you have the Three of Cups. So whoever this is, they're, they're coming in cute, charming. They want to act like nothing's wrong. They could even ask you to go out someplace with them. Why is the Three of Cups here? Okay, so you have the moon. The moon is dark. You can't really see everything that's going on here. And this is this person's energy is hiding something. And then you have the Nine of Wands. They're hiding it because they're feeling very defensive. And it's something difficult for this person to... Um, oh, they show up as the Wounded Warrior. I feel like it's something that they're doing that is a burden that they carry. You have the Page of Swords here.
This person is like a scout looking for information, trying to get out of a situation that they're in. Taurus. But you're looking to this person like you are um, perfect, you know? And so th that's why this person feels ashamed, embarrassed. Your energy is showing up here as the sun, like the light, happiness. And, I mean, this was all good energy. You were showing me up here. The High Priestess. It's like, you don't really put your business out there. You know, so you may seem a bit of a mystery to this person. The next card you've got is the Queen of Wands. Sorry, the Queen of Cups. Why is the Queen of Cups here? The Knight of Cups. The person, I'm pulling up their energy here. They may be a bit younger than you, Taurus. Take what resonates and leave the rest. But I'm seeing this may be someone who's a bit younger than you. And look at them. The Seven of Swords. They're hiding something. They're coming in as Prince Charming, you know. There's something here that they're hiding with the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Spirits, what is this person hiding? You got the Two of Swords and the Ace of Wands. They're, you know, they're closed off here with the Two of Swords and they don't know how to get out of a certain situation they're in where they are carrying around a whole bunch of burdens like this. And so... They're showing up here, showing you a certain face, but they're being sneaky here because they don't know how to get out of a situation that they're in, and they want this, they, they want this change, and they want this ace of wands of you with you, so they're very attracted to you, whoever this person is, and I'm feeling like they're trying to unravel something that they've done in their life that is, I, I keep getting embarrassing for them to tell you about. They're trying to unravel it. They want change. But I feel like they need to clean things up before they can approach you and let you see. And then you have the Knight of Swords here. See, this person wants to connect with you. See, but you keep showing them, and I mean, this is you. You're showing up here as the Nine of Pentacles, like you got your life together. Why is the Knight of Swords here? I mean, you're like a prize to this person. You have the Six of Swords and you have the Empress on the Empress is you, Taurus. You embody all of the queens in the tarot deck. And you could be moving, all right? Some of you are literally moving with the Six of Swords showing up here. But you're, you're moving into a calmer, more peaceful place in your life. You're in the process of that right now. I feel like you're working on some type of an idea. And this person, they show up you know, all gung-ho, and then they may back off a bit and then show up all gung-ho again. So it's kind of leaving you in your head about whoever this is, like wondering what is going on here. Why, why does this person keep changing? There's confusion. Why is the Nine of Swords here? The Wheel of Fortune. So you're going to move out of this energy here. The Wheel of Fortune is turning from being up in your head worried. And you could be worried about several things. I mean, this person may just be one of the swords, one of the worries in your head. But this is changing with the Wheel of Fortune. 
why is the wheel of fortune here see look at the tower there's something that's going to happen that you're not expecting okay tell me about the tower it's a sudden shocking change and it's sitting in your future energy tell me about the tower you have the high priest So we have the high priest and we have the high priestess here now. This person's going to to surprise you here. This person's all in. They kind of seem distant and elusive there, but this person is all in. It's a you may not even realize this person's very spiritual. This person is matching you perfectly energetically. You have the Eight of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. Right. This person right here, this High Priest, it's a very... Um, silent person here I mean they speak their words loudly and clearly but there's something mysterious about this person there's something this person does for work all right and they it's an outside energy this is someone who may be um, someone who does something where they're highly recognized and highly it's um a, i'm gonna say valued spiritual leader with the high priest priest there but they have something here that they carry around there's something here in their energy that they hold back from telling you about there's something um that just doesn't match up with this person like you would be shocked All right, so let's clarify the Fool and the Ace of Swords here. It's like you're going to get communication with the Tower moment of this person taking a leap of faith and just letting you in to see their world, okay? And they don't know what you're going to say, what you're going to do when you're faced with this truth. See, they're going back and forth in their mind about it. Because they're, they're playing a balancing act here in their life. There's, some, there's something hidden behind this person's veil. Why is the fool here... You have the Eight of Pentacles, Temperance, Sagittarius energy, and you have the Chariot, Cancer energy. See, this is someone who normally, I see them being recognized on the outside with the Six of Wands energy, like they are um, seen and admired by people. But there, there's this energy of them um, for their personal life. It's like they're resistant and they push people out. They're very successful, but they're trying to create some type of balance in, in their life. Like their personal life and what is seen on the outside. But they want to show you. They want to take a risk here and show you, show you what it is. I feel like this person feels like they can trust you. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Yeah, this person wants to have it all with you. The Two of Wands. They're standing here at a crossroads. 
and they think you know this person loves you they're showing up as the king of cups right here but they feel like they're on rocky water on rocky ground but they want to have it all with you and whatever this person is hiding um i don't feel like it's anything terrible i just feel like it's something embarrassing and so i'm seeing the truth coming out here though with the Ace of Swords, and it's not going to be anything that you think. All right, you guys, I want you to choose cat number one, cat number two, or cat number three. And we'll get a more personal message out to you. So we have cat number one, cat number two, and cat number three. If you chose number one, you have balance. And this is number 14, Zebra. By merging varying points of view, you can generate an extraordinary idea, new idea. Compromise with others and collaborate to discover a better solution. All right. And if you chose number two, you have the Queen of Autumn. Thoughtful, caring, creative, and genius. And this is a Belgium hair. You will be given advice that's both practical and creative, and it should be followed precisely. Focus only upon the positive in every situation or person. And if you chose number three, you have number 16, and this is life experience, and you have a Kaku, um, important changes are coming into your life that will require you to take action. Don't hesitate to move in new directions you know are right for you. All right, so these are the messages that came through for you today, Taurus. I hope they help you to see the bigger picture and um thank you guys so much for sticking around with me and being here with me and um thank you for taking the time to hit like and subscribe and all of that and leave me a comment i love you guys so much and have a great weekend and i'll see you tomorrow taurus namaste